Oh boy. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. We are live and we had an amazing legal panel. If you missed it, check out our live. We're still live and I'm probably clipping this out because I saw the headline and I see a rant coming. I see a rant coming from both Steph, myself and Lewis because previously we showed you Johnny Depp's TikTok uh, where Johnny Depp was celebrating his fans to the most treasured, loyal, unwavering supporters. We've been everywhere. We've seen everything together. We've walked the same road together. We did the right thing together, all because you cared. And now we will all move forward together. You are, as always, my employers. And once again, I am whittled down to no way, whittled down to no way to say thank you, other than just by saying thank you. So thank you. My love and respect, JD. Here he is, right? Well, Amber doesn't like Johnny moving on. Amber's going to respond by saying, moving forward, women's rights are moving backward. <sighs> Amber Heard has now responded to Johnny Depp. Amber Heard is responding after ex Johnny Depp shared a message to his fans on TikTok on Tuesday, just under a week since the jury sided with Depp and the court. Uh, heard uh, the, you know, we all know this uh, his first upload on social media to TikTok uh, was uh, we, we just read that um, we're all moving forward a spokesman for Heard responded to Depp's message in a statement saying as Johnny Depp says he's moving forward women's rights are moving backward the verdict's message to victims of DV is be afraid to stand up and speak out <sighs> Heard who plans to appeal the verdict, which good luck. She can't even afford to appeal it. It's all PR plays. Uh, said in her own statement, disappointment I feel is beyond words. I'm heartbroken at the mountain of evidence. <coughs> BS. Uh, it still is not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence, and sway of my ex. Even more disappointed with women for the, with this, what this verdict means for other women. It is a setback. It means women can't lie, Steph. That's the setback. What is she talking about? My God, no one tells the truth. But Amber Heard, even a jury of her own peers who did the case, who stood there for six weeks, they're all liars who are complicit to Jotty's power. I mean, my God, this woman is the worst. You got to move on, girl. You got to move on. This wasn't a, a judge that you got to, you know, wink at and get him to side with you. No, this was a, seven people, men, women, all the ethnicities. They sit there. They did their job. And you're telling us that they lied. They lied and they were biased and they just sided with power. Oh, my God. I can't even begin to express my frustration. And why are you even commenting? My God, he's, uh, this is insane. She just will never move on. She will constantly keep kicking him down as he hasn't. He, he could. There's a lot he could do. So he'll steer her still. He could still go after her for going against the NDA. He, he could really pursue the money. We're seeing him just say, look, let's move on. We did this. And she's now, yeah, you're moving forward. Well, women's rights are moving backward. I got to go to you, Steph, as the woman on the panel. How do you react to, to Amber now using this opportunity of, of Johnny celebrating to say, no, you're not moving forward. You've moved women's rights back. Backwards! Miss Amber Heard. Go happily to the nearest cactus. Lace it with as much chili oil as possible and shove it up your backside. Wow, that was so nice. I'm kind of scared, Lewis. That smile, I feel like it's about oh, to explode. Oh, oh, oh. It's gaining momentum. It's gaining <laughs> momentum, Andy. It's gaining momentum. Who the hell does she think she is? Who the hell does she think she is? She don't speak for me. She don't speak for me. She don't speak to so many other survivors that have come out and turned around and said, Amber Heard, you're full of BS. We don't believe you. We don't stand shoulder to shoulder with you. You're not part of our survivorship community. So go freaking do one. This whole thing about all oh, women's rights are moving backwards. Oh, wait, wait. I did a video yesterday about this because all the SJWs are like, oh my goodness, is that the end of me too? Oh my goodness, is the end of me and women being believed? Wait, 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 wait. And they're all like freaking freaking out and everything else in between. Well, hang on a minute, right? Okay, so you're turning around and saying because Amber Heard lost, it's a, a million step backwards for women's rights. Uh, are you on one or something? Seriously, selective memory much? Uh, uh, not going into too much detail, but Harvey, Cosby, 
ish, but he got over technicality. But still, okay, there have been many, many high profile cases where women have gone up against powerful men and they have won. Why? Because they are telling the truth. Why do we know that they're telling the truth? Because the evidence showed that they were freaking telling the truth. And the jury sided with the evidence and the truth. It's as simple as that. Oh, shocker! In this reality, women can actually lie and get caught out. Uh, yes, they can. They do. They are monsters. And there's a special kind of hell for people like that that lie about being part of the survivorship community. And I'll say it once and I'll say it again. It's definitely not a freaking membership card that you want. It really, really is not. It's a membership card that's freaking literally forced on you in every single way freaking possible. And it's something you will never be able to rescind. But you know what? I'm sodding proud of being part of the survivorship community. Absolutely, freaking lootly And I stand shoulder to shoulder for my brothers and sisters that are part of this survivorship community that are turning round in one voice and telling Amber to go freaking do one. Go freaking do one. Because guess what? Actually, it's the opposite. Johnny winning is a success story for the survivorship community. It takes women's and men's rights forward for those that are part of the survivorship community. Because this is all about, oh, women's rights are being moved backwards, this, that, and the other. Hang on a minute. It ain't just women that are part of the survivorship community. It's men as well. So let's get that straight once and for all, as far as I'm concerned. So at the end of the day, Johnny winning is actually a zillion steps forward for women and men's rights of the survivorship community because the real survivor won and the real monster lost. And she can blow hot air all she wants, but that is all it's going to be, hot air. And no amount of her turning around and being like, eh, women's rights, oh, my goodness, it could be too. Oh, my goodness, let's panic now. It's going to make us freaking forget all the evidence that's been shown in the trial, the sudden ridiculousness of the pictures that she submitted, the audio, the video, everything. She cannot pull the wool over everyone's eyes anymore. It is over. It is done. You are done, Amber Heard. You do not speak for me. I do not stand with Amber Heard. She is far, as far as I'm concerned, not part of the survivorship community, and she needs to shut the L up right now. Boom. I, I love when Steph gets loud. I don't know why people don't, don't like it. I think it's the most beautiful thing in the world because you just spit out facts for her to come out here and say we're... Uh, I, she doesn't get to speak for all women anymore. Enough. You can speak for yourself, Amber. No one's going to shut... You're allowed. But my God, this this generalizing... There are so, so many women on this channel. Our demographics are far more female than male. And this implication that you speak for all of them is just outright offensive. And I'm not even just talking survivors. Just women in general, right, Steph? She's just generalizing not only survivors, but all women. Like, all you guys are now incapable of getting any justice ever because Amber didn't get it. Yeah, well, they're not all going to have the inconsistencies you had or the audio tape evidence that's going to, you know, prove that you also are a problem. It, 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 uh, so much stuff she refuses to take an ounce of accountability, and that's my biggest frustration here. If she had come forward and said, listen, yeah, I done, you know, I, 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 I fought back. I, I did. Yeah, I'm not proud of that audio. If she had tried to, like, own any of it, I think Johnny would have had a hard time. Don't you two stuff? That's like the reason I think so many people refuse to accept you as this survivor, you know, victim and, and hero is because you were caught lying and refusing to accept any ounce of accountability through this entire process. And the reality is Johnny did. Now I wasn't there, right? I wasn't there, but I heard enough tapes of you guys in private and my God, it is disturbing how you wouldn't let that man leave for someone you had so many issues with. I I'm sorry. I've listened to enough people brave enough to call and share their stories. I hate to generalize all victims. I know they're not all the same, but my God, the way you paint him as this monster, I, I don't understand how you wouldn't let him leave. Let him leave. You sounded like a controlling, narcissistic, psycho person. You just, that's how it is. And you, and your reason was, I was afraid he was going to use again. Lewis, were you buying that? Were you buying that nonsense, Lewis? Dude, 
first of all, I'm still like furious every time she's trying to use all women. Women's rights are moving backwards. Dude, no woman or man has a right to lie on someone, okay? Let's start out with that. The only rights that are moving backwards are the rights of liars, okay? That's a good thing. Uh, w- shut up, Amber Heard. You said you said you wanted Johnny Depp to move, leave you alone. He leaves you alone. He posts that he's going to leave you alone. And then you, you and your friend, Eve Barlow, start going off on Twitter. You're a moron. Stop. Stop it. She's not going to stop. She's not going to stop. There's going to be, this is going to keep going. I said it from the beginning. One battle won. The the war continues. This is going to go on and on and on and on and on. And they got the big corporations backing them. So although our voice has become extremely loud, their voice is going to be very, very loud as well because they got money to reach more people. The normies, the people who, like Christopher Melcher uh, said, the people who don't really look at the trial in detail, the ones that aren't really part of the movement. Uh, what makes this movement special is that they research, they looked into everything. They're knowledgeable. Most people are not. They're not going to bother. They're going to bo- They're going to look at the headline and not read the entire thing. There's probably thousands of people reading this right now. Women's rights are moving backwards, and there's probably a lot of men saying we got to defend Amber Heard, right? I've, I've seen them, and then the women here are saying she doesn't represent us. Hey, this is what politicians do, okay? She's She's got a strategy. This is going to keep going for a long time. Subscribe to us as uh, we will get your voice amplified or help you get your voice amplified uh, moving forward. Yeah, uh, I'm just, I can't stand this woman. And it's just a sign that she's never going to back down. It's never going to back, back down. down. She doesn't want to move on. They want a threesome. Eve Barlow's out there on Twitter, too, demanding all this yeah. awful stuff. And it's fueling all these people labeling us misogynists because we listened to the jury. We, or we listened to the trial. We trusted in the jury. You know, it's over. I'll, it's I'll not, say this right now. Call me a misogynist. Call me a racist. That's okay. I don't care. I don't care what you call me. All right. This is me speaking. I don't care. Those are just words. I know I live my life differently. Everyone here knows they live their life differently. Differently, These are just names. They're just words. It means they lost. Call me whatever you want. Just call me in time for dinner because I'm hungry. Yeah, she's just incredibly upset that she lost because she thought she yeah. controlled controlled this narrative. She is a controlling person. We learned that from the tapes. Every yeah. single tape, Johnny is... The times he's yelling are because she won't let him leave. Yep. Or she's he's stuck in a room. We have so many instances where she's calmly trying to rationalize with this woman. And you and your audio is really what's setting women's rights backs because now there are going to be some that don't believe because of you. That That's what this is really about. And so you're trying to spin it and turn it into your own way so you can still play the hero here. But you know the truth. You just refuse to accept it because you can't because you, you wouldn't at any point take it now it's accountability so I, I johnny johnny's moving on bravo to him she's playing right into his hand i think right here and exposing stop. herself and her and her controlling ways that i think we all saw on the stand very clearly and the more she continues to do this instead of just also move on and take the loss to me proves everything that we, we already knew so amber great love love that you keep trying to do this there are a handful of people a little cult of crazies that will accept this because they didn't want to watch and they refuse to accept that a man <laughs> can can be truthful there are a handful of people who will just feel that way i guess uh it's frustrating it is what it is but you guys can all have your little silo and your little echo chamber and keep doing what you're doing we will keep exposing this as what it is nonsense this is complete and utter nonsense and it's offensive to real survivors out there because i don't believe you've spoken to any of them i really don't I, I, I just don't understand it. I, and if you need to speak to some, let us know. We'll do another call in. I'm sure a lot of our channel of viewers would love to have a conversation, exp- express their frustration with you and their own stories. The ones that when they called and, and had us all bawling, we believed yes. because there weren't inconsistencies because it, it just, it, it was genuine. You, you don't have a genuine bone in your body. Whew. I take the high road here. (laughs) I'm going to move on. We've addressed it. Go ahead. Final thought, Lewis. I got to add one thing. I do feel they've spoken to survivors and I, and I, and I do feel a hundred percent. They know what the opinion is out there. They just don't give a crap. Okay. That's why they're blocking their comments in the Twitter because the Twitters like, uh, (laughs) uh, but, but, uh, 
that's why they're blocking it. Because if you look when Eve Barlow posts, when you look when Amber Heard posts, people are, they're civil, but they're blocked anyways. She must have, they must have read the comments. They must have read stuff like Steph has expressed here and, and people in the comments here. Uh, you know, hey, you know what? I'm a real survivor. They're saying this, this is not right. They block. They're blocking you because you ruined their narrative. And then they call you a name because they want to shut you up. Double your efforts. All I'm seeing from the uh, Amber Heard people on Twitter is people being called names. And uh, uh, they want to pee on, on Johnny Depp's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. That's what I'm seeing. So yeah, well, I've we oh, we've seen worse. I, I still am debating yeah. if I'm going to release the video because those people, the whole cut thing, turns out they were all frauds. They were all yeah. frauds. And part of me does want to release it. I'm still debating. Part of me may release it at some point with a huge trigger warning and summary of how it. But I just think it's important to see what these, what her fans, the people that are supporting her and her her army, what they resort to is just disgusting and dangerous. And we're the problem, right, Lewis? Right, Steph? We're the problem. Yeah, no, <laughs> I can't true. I can't even begin to express my frustration. But there you go. Amber has responded. And she likely will. We'll be here to try to normalize it and make it real. Keep it real for you here on Popcorn Planet. If you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe. Hit the bell for all alerts. Smash the like button uh, and leave a comment down below, as well as subscribing to my beautiful friends here, Lewis Leck over at Nerd Report and Steph the Alternerd. And I, I so had that cactus ready. I'm proud of myself that time. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.